I can speak to right now in this time, in this moment, is the, what, what the President has promised. A whole of government approach here, uh, response, that's what you've seen. Uh, the Department of Transportation was able to provide $70, $60 million just last week. They made that announcement. Uh, you heard me talk about that at the top. And we will, of course, of course, we are going to work with Congress to ensure uh, that we have the, the resources, right, needed uh, so that we can make sure that this is fully covered, the rebuilding of the bridge is fully covered. I'm going to give you more about what the President's going to be doing on Friday in the next upcoming days. We'll have more details to share to all of you. Uh, and so I'll leave it there about what uh, what uh, what we're going to be doing on that day. You know, uh, sadly, he he's done these kind of um, uh, kind of visits. Not obviously uh, not this dramatic with a bridge before, but he has been there for communities when they've experienced a traumatic uh, event like the people of Baltimore have. And I think it's important for him, for, for, uh, for people to, for, for folks who are working on the ground, whether it's the first responders who were there in the first couple of hours or the folks who are there now, to see, from, from, to see the president, to hear from the commander in chief, to know that he appreciates the work that they've been doing around the clock.